Well, I know they're pluckers. I'll be solving here again. Thanks very much for joining me for another guitar lesson. This is uh, part one of uh, a number of lessons for a song called The House That Built Me by a lady called Miranda Lambert, who had a big hit with this number in the States, uh, apparently. And it's been requested by uh, one of my viewers called Dustin. And uh, I'm going to split it into various lessons because uh, the intro is the hardest part of the song and that might take a couple of lessons to break it down into uh, manageable bits for you, okay? It is finger picking, okay? The rest of the song is relatively straightforward, but once we get past the intro, okay? So um, the whole song is played in drop D tuning. Uh, drop D tuning is basically standard tuning apart from the bottom sixth string has to be detuned, i.e. slackened off, until it sounds like the fourth string. Make it sound like the fourth string. So, and then once you've done that, you put a capo on the third fret to bring it into the same key that uh, Miranda Lambert plays this song in. Okay, so when you've done that, the fourth string and the sixth string should sound like this. The same, i.e. The rest, of the, the, rest of the rest of the strings are in what would be standard tuning, okay? Apart from the fact I've got the capo on the third fret now. Okay? So once you've got that capo on the third fret, we are ready to go, okay? So um, the, 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 there is a link in the description box uh, for a tab sheet I've written for the, uh, for the intro. Please go and get it uh, so you'll be able to follow what I'm doing. Okay, and I will put a link in the description box also for the um, to go to listen to Miranda Lambert playing this song as well. Hope you don't know the number or want to reacquaint yourself. Okay, right. So we've got the guitar in the right tuning, and uh, we're ready to go. Okay, the basis of this song is very much that sort of alternate bass all the way through the song, and you've got to keep that going with your thumb through all the chord changes in the verse and the chorus as well. The whole thing revolves around that, okay? So very important that. Okay, so uh, let's go to, we're going to try and do the first line of the intro. So if you get the tab sheet, look at the first line of the intro. And the first bit uh, is basically, I want you to hold a, a partial D chord. So if you, if you could imagine a normal D chord, just take your, second finger off, the one that's on the top string, the first string, keep that off. So you've only got the third string on the second fret and the third fret of the second string fretted. Top string, it, top first string is open. Okay. Okay. Now it starts off, uh, this intro starts off with uh, basically six string, fourth string, six string, fourth string. If you check the uh, tabs, you'll see that there, first line. Six string, four string, six string, four string, six string. Now, before you hit the fourth string again, you pluck the third string on the second fret, which is held down by your first finger. So you've got, so far we've got. Okay. Then hit the fourth string after the third string. So it's got that, do it slowly. Alright, then hit, after the you've hit the fourth string, hit the uh, pink, your, your third fret of the second string. Okay, so Then hit the uh, sixth string. Okay, so go back to doing that. Four, six, four, six, four. Okay, so six, four, six, four, six, three, four, two, six, four. Okay, so. And this time we do three lots of six four. And then we hit the sixth string on its 
and then we hit the again we hit the third string followed by the fourth string followed by the second string and then the sixth string again okay so so far we've got twice three times and three times of this okay so basically very much the same apart there's an, apart from the second time there's an extra six four okay so after you've gone back to that when you got to the sixth string you play then you play the first string open okay okay and then the fourth string okay so whole thing together is come to the almost at the end of the line about two-thirds of the way along the first line there uh, you have a double pick now you hit the sixth string open but at the same time you now make up the full D chord and hammer your second finger onto the second fret of the first string as it to make a normal D shape now so. okay so now we've got slowly okay got that so after we've done that hammer with the uh, open six we play the fourth string again and then we play we add pinky to the third fret of the first string to make like the suspended fourth so after the double pick and the hammer on on the top string, first string, hit the fourth string, then pinky on third fret of the first string, then the sixth string. Okay, so if we should just go from the double pick. Okay. Then hit the sixth string. Okay, so you've got Okay. Then take pinky off and hit the second fret of the first string like a normal D shape. Second that one. Okay. So from the double pick, so you got and finally the open fourth. So it's from that double pick. Got that. Okay. So now what we've got from the beginning of this line is <clears throat> okay very slowly I'll try and play it slowly it's hard to play it slowly <laughs> okay here we go speed is a uh, something like that okay uh, it comes with practice I think <laughs> okay so okay so that's the first line done okay so part two will be the rest of the intro Okay, so now then you'll be into it. Okay, anyway, thanks for watching this in, and I'll see you in the next part. Okay.